Hello and welcome to the Clarendon Fine Art Gallery in the middle of Mayfair. Now this year, this is where our semi-finalists from Landscape Artists of the Year, their work is being exhibited. Having the work in the gallery is just um, a really weird feeling at the moment. I, I, I arrived early and I walked up the road and one of my, my bride's painting is in the front window and I walked past it and I was kind of like, oh my God. And I took a sneaky photo. It's like as if I wasn't allowed to take a photo. I kind of was like hiding behind this car. And, and um, at that moment I thought, oh gosh, this is a really, really big deal and this is a really lovely, lovely, um, a lovely end to what's been a fantastic summer and you know and autumn. But when I got the phone call to say that Clarendon had stepped on board and we're going to take all of our paintings and show them this incredible space, I just couldn't believe it. It feels lovely because um, I think as a body of work it becomes interesting that all the different journeys and paths cross in one place and we get a, a, chance, a chance to actually look at things which you don't get during the whole process. So. Uh, I mean, it's a great honour to be here, exhibit my work in Mayfair Gallery. It's not something that I've ever done before, so I'm just really chuffed to be here. It's been great for me, it's been great for my wife, my family. We've all enjoyed it, we've enjoyed the journey that we've been on, and um, it's absolutely something that I will do again. Come and see this artwork in the flesh because it really doesn't do it justice on TV versus in real life. There's, there's things that I've even seen that I'm, I'm looking at with fresh eyes. The last 24 hours since it was announced that I'm the winner this year has been just mad. I, I think I spent most of my time on my phone and on social media um, replying to everyone's lovely comments, which has been really nice. Just people who want to comment and kind of engage with me. That's actually rather took me by surprise. I didn't expect that a level of you know, positivity and response, which has actually been so complimentary that I, I, I'm really touched by it. It feels like you've been holding in this incredible secret for weeks and weeks, and finally, you know, the cat's out the bag, and you can kind of be yourself again. And what I've really noticed is the wave of love and support that's come on social media over the last 48 hours, it's just been overwhelming. Okay, being an artist, you live in isolation for long periods of time, and you don't really know what people think of your work. So suddenly you're catapulted on television, you see the terrible things that people say on Twitter, you see the lovely things that people say on Instagram, and you sort of balance it all up, and it's just a lovely um, environment to be in. And it's sort of, I feel it's like a little pool of sort of feedback and from here I think I can sort of leap out and carry on and, and, and take take my art onto a new dimension. I'm really excited for the future. I have to have a spreadsheet to keep up with all the inquiries. Superb, absolutely superb. You know my personality does come through with my work. You know I'm sometimes, I know I'm a bit laughy and jokey but I'm also a bit melancholic and actually making sure it's you rather than trying to paint something that you think someone else will like because I kind of, I know that my work's not sort of, not everyone likes it and that's okay. It's okay to be yourself in your work actually. 